all things on Earth are related to each other. And we humans and fish belong to the, a, a large group, the vertebrata. We, um, we share many features in common. And uh, we share a very, very distant common ancestor. There was a common ancestor that was the ancestor to what became fish and what became humans. It was a long time ago and many other things branched off as well. But we retain as humans or, or, or vertebrates in their development, um, we retain many, many features that, that kind of harken back to that evolutionary ancestry. So if you look at a very, very early human embryo and a very, very early fish embryo, it's very difficult to tell them apart. You know, but as they develop, they diverge and they develop the characteristics of their own lineage and they become more and more different. But closer and closer to the, to the origin, you know, the, the fertilized egg, they're very, very similar. All vertebrates are very, very similar. So, you know, many things are retained in our development. They maybe develop into very different things, but they start with the same precursors. So those original cell types that the fish have, we have.